this point with the tarp, we're gonna make the ridge line and I've taken my eight yards of fabric and cut it in half. And now we're gonna make, we're gonna do, sew the two long sides together to make one big squarish rectangle. This tarp will roughly be about um, nine by 11, which is like a perfect size for like a hammock or, you know, it's just a good size in my opinion. Um, so we've got the two pieces together, got the correct thread to use, and I put a new needle in for this. Make sure my bobbin is completely full because this is a really, really long run. Um, I'm gonna make sure my stitch length is where I want it, and I like it at about eight stitches per inch. And down here on your, your platen down here, there's little marks that you can use to guide. And in the beginning, we're going to have the two sides that we want facing out. And that does make a difference depending on which fabric you're using. Um, the PU 4000, you want the PU 4000 on the underside of your tarp. Um, but it could be different. So, so really look at your manufacturer and what, they, what they're recommending. Um, but we're going to do a seam, a lot of people call it the flat felt seam. It's really not a flat felt seam. We're going to have the two faces, the two pieces that I want together. Um, make sure I've got, I gotta sew the short side together. Um, so I've got those two together and using this little template down here, I'm going to sew down. I've got the two faces I want facing each other. We're gonna sew the whole length and connect them together. And then we'll do some flip-flopping and I'll show you how that all goes. All right, down here, maybe you can see it. There's little markings, that's one eighth, it's three eighths and five eighths. In between that's the half inch mark. So what I'm going to do, is get, I'm going to run these two together and I'm going to be running it right on the half inch marker there. Now I don't use um, needles um, or pins, it's just me. Um, you sure can if you want, the stuff is pretty slick. So we're just going to get everything kind of lined up to begin with. And with mine, I can actually drop the foot, or drop the needle down, and then, then I can make further adjustments. I've got my sewing machine on slow to get me going. I kind of can separate them with my fingers so I can see that they're all lined up correctly. I'm just going to get a few things started here. Reverse it. Make sure everything's lined up. self-feeding foot. I should probably put that on and see if I can do that, but I'll practice that. And once I can get on the other side of uh, both hands, it kind of help me. And I'll keep it nice and straight. Okay, now we've got the whole length of it sewn together that first one and that was at the half inch now we'll, we're going to, i'm going to take it and i'm going to invert okay hey <laughs> invert the whole thing and fold it over each other so now that little half inch flap is on the inside <laughs> okay enough <laughs> Okay, go ahead. I'm going to clean up some of my threads so I don't have to deal with them. You see threads, I find finding the threads and dealing with them at that moment. Because um, you're doing a lot and that way you don't miss them. You find them later. I mean, you'll find them later, but you get just one less to do. Okay, 
So now folded it over. And now that we're going to use the next hash mark over, which is five eighths. And we're going to sew down. So that will encase that little flap inside. This is the little hash mark that we used before. Now we're going to bring it out so it's riding on the five eighths hash mark. There's a little flap side, so we'll turn it. We'll turn it inside. Now you can see this little flap inside there. Now. Thank you. That's nice. That's Thank so you. Pigmented. Thank you. I wasn't expecting it to actually be that green on your face. Wow. But <laughs> you're really green. <laughs> <laughs> Was not expected. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Drop the needle down. And what I'm going to do is with this hand, I'm going to be actually underneath. I'm trying to keep it all nice and tight Put the stitches now reverse it back to the edge on that five eighths line you take your time or I do at least try and Make sure everything's where it needs to be. Using your fingers, I use my fingers a lot for just feeling things. Right there, my length isn't set right. inside this outer sewn flap this is where it really gets um, kind of crazy because now we want to sew this flap down to the tarp but you know we've got to have the whole tarp so now we've got to manage the tarp so you're gonna have stuffing half of this tarp through this area over here and uh, sewing this flap down tight You want to sew it as close to the edge as you can get it. As you can manage. Like I didn't do a back stitch there. You don't have to do a back stitch all the time because I'm going to be rolling the hem all the way around um, anyway. Take my time. <laughs>
Okay, so there we have the completed that flat filled seam to uh, join the two together. So it does two, two different things. It joins cloth together in a very strong way. And then with all those flips and turns, other than the holes that the needle went through, it makes it more waterproof. So it makes it really hard for the water to get through all those folds. Um, very nice. So here it was. That's probably the hardest thing um, so far. And it, I, I think it, I, I guess there's a certain amount of difficulty to every step. But that is the first step. So my next step actually is to make the reinforcements. Um, so I like to do my reinforcements before I hem around the, the perimeter. And so I'll do the perimeter um, reinforcements and hem, and then I'll do the any pullouts that I want to do after that. Okay, see you next video. Bye now.